Hi, this is Leonard Smith from Sense Memory. It's Monday night. The chicken's in the oven. I'm making a uh, coke au champagne, which is chicken cooked in champagne. I'm having a little masala tea, which is my favorite tea. It's very oops, spicy. Kind of what I would call the Shalimar of teas. And I'm going to tell you about a wonderful weekend I had and some wonderful things I picked up. It's kind of a haul video, so stay tuned. This weekend here in San Francisco, we had a visit from H60 Cologne, one of our wonderful reviewers here on YouTube, and we met um, we met up with him, uh, Sebastian and I from Man Loves Cologne, uh, yesterday at Bloomingdale's and took him on a mini tour of the city because we had limited time, but we had a really, really great time. And in the process, discovered a brand new mini boutique at... Um, at Bloomingdale's of Hermes, which was really wonderful, and met a great, great sales associate there by the name of Amber, who, by the way, doesn't like Amber perfume. We got a good laugh out of that. Anyway, we had a great time, and unfortunately, we didn't get to film any of it, but it was wonderful. Now, so on with the mini haul. Um, over the past couple of weeks, I've been getting, I've been shopping a couple of times. I've got some samples from perfumers in the mail, and um, so I wanted to share with you just uh, some of the exciting things that I received or bought that will be coming up in reviews shortly. This tea is so good I can't stop drinking it. Anyway, let's put that aside and get on with the haul. Now the first thing I have to show you came all the way from Paris in this wonderful bag and it's from Nila Vermeer and it is an absolutely gorgeous sample of her newest fragrance, which is called Pichola. Pichola is um, a lake in India where they have this beautiful, beautiful hotel that floats in the lake. So this is her brand new uh, perfume, and I will be reviewing this very shortly on my written blog and here. So thank you so much, Neela, for sending this to me. It's just a wonderful, wonderful, um, a wonderful gesture. Next thing we have is two weeks ago Sunday, I went to Tiger Lily for a reading by Mandy Aptel from uh, her new book, which is called Fragrant, The Secret Life of Scent. And it's the story of four fragrances, um, mint, amber, ambergris, frankincense, and cinnamon, and the history of those fragrances and how they, they influenced civilization. Actually, how they influenced civilization. It was a, it's a wonderful, wonderful book. I highly recommend it. It's really wonderful. And I got to meet Mandy and we had a wonderful visit, and she offered to send me some samples of her perfume to, to test and try out. So she sent it to me in this wonderful gold package. I just love that gold package packaging. And here you can see she sent it to me. If I got it upside down, I've got it upside down. She sent this to me, and it's got three little samples in it that are just gorgeous. And I will be reviewing them shortly. For you, if I could just get this open. There we go. I'll give you, let's show you a little. Here they are. They're just beautiful. This is one of them. We'll be getting to that later on, but I just wanted to share that with you. And then the next thing we're going to look at came in the mail from Amazon, and it was an idea. I got the idea because I just fell in love with the bottle. I have no idea what this is going to smell like, but the bottle intrigued me and made me laugh. So it was very, very inexpensive, and I thought I would try it. So here is what it is. It is called Vermeil Paris, and it's a fragrance for men. It comes from, from France, and it comes in this wonderful little plastic package. But the 
This just made me laugh. It's like a giant cigarette lighter. Very pretty, actually. And the spray, the press down here and the spray comes out there. I haven't smelled it yet. I have no idea what it smells like. But we'll be having a fun review of this coming up very shortly. So there we have that one. Now, I also have been fascinated for a very long time by this particular fragrance. And this is from Caswell and Massey and it's called Jockey Club. And the reason it is so interesting to me is it is purported to be the absolute favorite fragrance of President John F. Kennedy. So there you see it, beautiful, beautiful classic bottle. And, and Caswell and Massey is one of the oldest fragrance uh, producers in the United States. So we'll be exploring that one as well. Uh, next we have something that I've owned years and years ago, back late 70s, early 80s, and I decided to revisit it. I'm sure it doesn't smell the same as it did then, but I loved it. It's a beautiful leather, and it's from Van Cleef and Arpel. And this is Van Cleef and Arpel Pour Homme. So this we will be, I'll tell you what, I'll open it up later for you, and uh, you will get a chance to experience it together and see if it is anything like what I remember. Then, Yesterday, when I was out with the boys, uh, we did go to Bloomingdale's, as I said, first. Um, and then after that, we went over to Barney's. And I was really intrigued by um, Dacob, Super Jacob's review of um, Egoist. I remember Egoist when it first came out and how beautiful it was. But I can't really remember the smell anymore. And he, I'll put a link down to his wonderful... Uh, comparison or talk about the difference between old classic Ego East and what's out uh, today. So I, I thought I would try and get a, a, an old or a, the most recent bottle of Ego East before the new one came out. Evidently there's a new one coming out if I understand correctly. So I went ahead and got this bottle of Ego East. So let's, there's the wonderful Chanel wrapping paper. And here is the box. Let's just pop this open. And see what I think of it. I remember it being very spicy and a really bold, wonderful scent. And that wonderful commercial, uh, I'm going to put a link down below. Oh, it's a beautiful bottle. I'm going to put a link down below to the famous commercial from from the 80s, um, the Ego East commercial. You can get a look at it. It's just a really classic, wonderful 80s commercial. They Fragrance commercials in the 80s were really works of art. So take a look at that. But um, here it is. I'm going to open it up and give it a little spray. Mmm, cinnamon, cinnamon, mmm, and sandalwood, cinnamon and sandalwood, and a little vanilla. It is just gorgeous. We'll be doing a, a more in-depth review on this particular fragrance very shortly. And finally, as I mentioned earlier, there is a brand new boutique opened up, a mini boutique at Bloomingdale, which is a boutique for the House of Hermes. And it was a really wonderful experience getting to uh, experiment with some of the beautiful fragrances there. Um, I met wonderful, as I mentioned, a wonderful uh, sales associate, Amber, and she took us through a lot of the fragrances. And it's a house I haven't explored very much, so what's in the bag? What did I get? You're going to have to wait until... I actually open it and do a review later on. So stay tuned. In the meantime, this is Lander Smith from Sense Memory saying, remember, wear what you love and not what they say you should like.